Hey guys, welcome back to the eBay shop. My name's Corey. I'm Teresa. And we're Grams and Pops Vintage. We buy things locally for as cheap as we can get them and we try and sell them online for a profit or at least that's the idea. Today we're gonna show you part two of our weekend sales. Uh, we did part one in the last video, so if you haven't watched that yet, go ahead and hop back and watch one video before this one. So today we're gonna show you what sold, the rest of our what sold this weekend and we're gonna talk a little bit about some of our goals for our eBay reselling business. But like usual, we're gonna we're gonna grab some of the stuff that's sold first. So let's go ahead and start grabbing those and what's first. Uh, Sunbeam Mixmaster Turntable, the one that we've already sold and received back and now selling again. Yep, that would probably be our first goal. Stop having stuff come back. <laughs> it's this guy here. We don't have a whole lot come back. No, we have very very few items come back, but this one actually sold once before and it came back because they just decided they didn't want it. No, it didn't fit their machine. Oh, the bowls they... didn't fit on their machine. The bowls for the machine they had didn't fit on that. So they bought the wrong one, basically. It wasn't any fault of ours. They sent it back and we relisted it. So this sold again. So we've now we've officially sold three of these because we did sell one off yep. another mixer. So that one sold for what? We have a dollar in it and it sold for twelve ninety five. Okay. Um, some more Fisher Price stuff sold. We sold the Loving Family Mom and Toddler. So it's these girls here. So they actually they have quite a bit of movement in them. Their knees bend, their arms bend, their shoulders bend. But what do we have in those? Zero dollars. That's part of my my box that I got at the free bit or the free box that I got at that one garage oh, sale. Nice. So nothing. And those sold for what? Uh, a da eleven a da a da eleven ninety nine. From a free box. Yes, if you see free boxes, dig through them because sometimes people throw away stuff like that or the Tupperware lids that we've sold. Yep, don't don't ever be too proud to dig through a free box at a garage sale. My mother-in-law taught my kids F-R-E-E -E when they were younger, so. Okay, then we sold Sunvee Fast Lock Landscape Cable Connectors. So these guys here, these are actually um, electrical connectors for 12 volt. 12 volt electrical for like landscaping and stuff like that. And thanks to our friend Leroy over at the, over at the Reseller Information Network, we know to look out for hardware and stuff like this because they can actually sell pretty good. And these ones did, we picked them up for a buck and they sold for what? $19. Hardware, new sealed hardware. Well, even not new sealed hardware. Sometimes hardware could go for a decent amount, so. Okay, we sold our War 02 DVD Blu-ray bundle. War 02, so War Movie Bundle 2. And it looks like we've got seven different War Movies in a Blu-ray DVD bundle, all going out for how much? Twenty-one twenty-five. All right, what's next? A game I would never ever play. I don't care who we play it with, Pie Face. <laughs> That's that one there. We don't pick up a lot of games. Unless we, they're new sealed. Unless they're new sealed. If they're new sealed, we'll look them up. If it's worth it, we'll pick them up. They generally don't sell for too much. If they're vintage, we'll look them up because a lot of times we just sell the parts and we don't really care about the game. You don't have to ship a big box. But when they're new sealed and they look like they'll sell, we do pick them up. So what do we have in that? That was part of the storage unit. So nothing. Nope. And, and it's new. It's new and we sold it for eight seventy five. dollars Yeah. So... Would not have bought this at a garage sale at that. Not even probably for 50 cents. We probably would have left it mm -hmm. just because it's going to cost to ship the size of that. But that one sold and we made a little profit on it and now it's gone. Okay, up next we sold a 1988 box of football cards. All right, so we got one of these. And these are all profit. These have been paid for for a while. We have these listed at 150 and I believe we took an offer on these. 135. So 135 plus shipping. Christmas is still selling. We sold a Department 56 Snow Village Country Harvest. Okay, is that one there? Yeah, it looks like an old man and an old woman, elderly man, elderly woman picking pumpkins in the snow. Who the hell picks pumpkins in the snow? I don't know. Okay. But that was part of one of our multiple bulk buys for our Department 56 stuff, which is all paid for or all recouped so far. And we sold that for $4. $4 for pumpkin picking in the snow. I guess it's a, ha a fall harvest, but they're getting early snow but it's part of the snow village. Got it. They should probably pick pumpkins before it snows. What's your goals? Are we at that point? All right, so I guess we're about halfway here. So it's time to talk about the topic of the day, which is our kind of our eBay reselling business goals. I see a lot of different goals. 
floating around with different resellers in different reseller groups and discord channels and stuff like that. So I thought it'd be a good topic for us. Our goals, I don't mind setting monetary goals, but I want to make sure they have a little bit of context to them. I don't necessarily like saying we'd like to sell $10,000 this month and have that be a goal because that really doesn't mean anything without some context. If your cost of goods is 9,000 and you sell 10,000, you just put a whole lot of work in for not much money. So I think right now we have a lot of goals for the eBay shop as far as what we need to do in here, how we want to grow it going forward. The one monetary goal I have, I guess, is to get to $500 a day in sales, in revenue, while keeping the current cost of goods ratio we have right now mm -hmm. on average. Some days are going to be garbage. Some days are going to be great. So if we could average over a 90 day period, $500 a day, that's kind of where I want to be. We're not there. We're, we're probably just over halfway there maybe at this point. Mm -hmm. We've got a lot of work to do to get there and we're only at what, just over 1,300 products in the store, mm -hmm. I think. So I think we're gonna have to see that probably double and still keep good quality. Like I don't, I don't wanna post $1,300 sports cards that does us no good at all. I wanna post 1,300 more really good products. So that's, that's kind of my goal in terms of sales. My goal is to sell pops. Does anyone want him? That's no goal. That is my goal. I might be able to make a buck. There's no comps for me. Can't comp all this out. I'm gonna try. Go ahead, find me on Worth Point. No, I'm not gonna try and find a comp for you. I'm gonna try and sell you. For how much? Five bucks. I'll give you five bucks. I don't want your money. You can't buy yourself. I can buy my freedom. <laughs> <laughs> what other kind of goals do you have? I don't know. What's your goal with this? My goal is to get it all listed, and I've done a pretty good job of listing all of our storage unit stuff. Thank you very much. What about the garage sale? We have, we have a goal of having a garage sale. When, oh, when's our date? We don't have a date. It will probably be sometime after Trash to Cash meetup in Vegas. So after the April Vegas meetup. Maybe. We'll see. What if we just have a big garage sale and we use that for play money while we're at the Trash to Cash meetup? No. That's a lot of work in a little amount of time. I have all that stuff that has to be listed or whatnot, or put into totes and put on my shelves back there. I have all that stuff on the shelves that has to get listed. Oh, I know, inventory is a goal. We, yes, we have to go through an inventory. No, 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 we, we know we have to do it, but we need to make it official. We're gonna make it official today on this video. Inventory is, is, inventory is a goal. We're gonna start going through hold each on, and on. every tote. Nope, you gotta stop. Rephrase that. She thinks she's gonna to have to inventory. I'm not gonna allow her to inventory mm -hmm. by herself because if she's not here, I have to be able to pull orders and vice versa. So we've gotta go through orders. We still haven't even come up with our inventory, like how we're gonna number our totes or what we're gonna name our tote. I think we should go name them names. Why don't we just do numbers? Cause they don't run out. Because they don't want numbers. That's lame. Anyways, we will figure out our our system. We have can more we, stuff to Can pull. we make a goal that by the next video, we know dude. what kind of inventory oh, system we want to do? Dude, do you know how much <laughs> is in here? <laughs> Not by the next video, we'll have an inventory. By the next video, we will have an inventory system figured out and the totes labeled. Sure. That's just a couple days. Like that's going to happen by Wednesday. No, because this video is for like a week away. So I have a whole week. Don't tell them. <laughs> don't tell them about the magic. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, we will have a numbering system, alphabet system. She said numbers. Alphabet system. That is a goal. We're gonna start inventory in some way, shape or form before the next video. So not only do I wanna have an inventory system figured out and labels up, we're gonna inventory our very first tote. That's the goal before the next video. Let's get to it. We got m so. All right, so well, last goal is to find something that Grams agrees with me on today. Mm, that's can't, not happening. Oh, we can't even agree on that. Okay, so what's we next? sold <laughs> we sold some Barbie doll clothes. We sold a gem and the hologram Aja shirt. That's that. I don't have my glasses on. It's the Aja from Gem and the Holograms. What the f is an Aja? It's her name, kind of like Barbie and Teresa. It's Aja from A J A is not an A. They need more consonants. It's Aja, Aja, I think. But she's they're bigger than normal Barbies, so that would fit a Barbie, but it would be a little big on them. Okay, so how much did it sell for? Ten ninety nine. And that is out of our big lot of Barbies. So, all right, what's hold next? Something I picked up a while ago. It was one of our first garage sales we went to. Some battery operated miniature street shops. Okay, so they're basically these here. 
see and that. there's a third one, this little truck. What do they do here? Oh, he does light up. They each have little lights under their canopies. All right, so what did one of these little guys sell for? We paid three bucks for them, so a buck a piece, and those sold for 25 bucks. All right, what's next? A vintage Polaroid camera. Okay, this is what you call a YouTube education rather than paying your tuition with money and learning about a product. We picked this up because we saw other YouTubers buying camera equipment and stuff like that. And we just figured all camera equipment is worth money. Created equal? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, see if I can get this open. This is just an old Polaroid camera. We did sell it untested. Yep, it is sold untested parts only basically. And we left this old camera, leather camera case with it. I don't think we paid much for it. A dollar. Yeah, and it sold for how much? 19 bucks. So it took a long time to sell. I don't think I would pick another one of them up. Just They're just not really worth much unless you can test them and you know much about them. And it's one of those categories that I don't know that we know enough to be messing around in. And I'm not ready to invest the time or money to learn it yet. Enamelware camping dishes. Don't take your camera. All right, so this came out of our storage unit. It was in a camping tote, and it's a whole set of that metal speckled... Enamelware. Enamelware. What, so we don't have really much of anything in it. We still got to get a number. We have hundreds of items out of that. Literally hundreds of items listed. And we, haven't and we have everything. to just divide it all by what we spent on the storage unit. So we don't, we don't know for sure what's in it. But I think at the end of it, when we're all done, we're going we're gonna to have less than a buck an item in everything. Oh, way less than a buck an yeah, item. Yeah, it's I'm probably sure. going to be closer to a quarter an item after we're done listing everything. So these those, sold for what? Those sold for 40 bucks. There you go. And you get the plates, the bowls, the cups and the silverware. Yep. In my kitchen lot that I, well, kitchen, in, in the storage unit, there was a whole bunch of kitchen stuff. Like, what was her name? Pioneer Woman Pioneer stuff. Woman stuff. But there was also some random dishes and I sold, we sold a Royal Norfolk cereal bowl. All right, it's this one here. I thought this was the Pioneer Woman stuff. Mm -mm, that's not Pioneer Woman. I have Pioneer, I have that and then I have, Pro, I think it's called Project 62. And then all the rest of it's Pioneer Woman. So it's just a glass blue bowl. Mm -hmm. Nothing special about it. Royal and I think it's actually like... Norfolk. Yeah, it's made by Greenbrier International, which I think is a import company. Okay. But I don't know what company, like Walmart, Target. I don't know who sells it. But it sold for six bucks. Yeah, it's for and one bowl and we have a set, right? I have two. That one I only have Oh, two. we have two of these. Yep. So we sold one of them for six. Yep. Probably sell the other similar. When in doubt, parted out, we sold a piece of the Ryobi. The Ryobi leaf blower. A while back, we bought one, a big backpack leaf blower, and we parted it out. This is like an air box plate where your air filter would go on. And part of that assembly is the little bubble, push button bubble where you pump to get your gas going mm -hmm. before you start the thing. A lot of times, this is why they're buying this thing, just to get that bubble, because they dry out and they crack and then they don't work. So either way though, we were able to part that out. They get the screws and everything. It'll ship first class and it yep. sold for what? Uh, we have like 95 cents in it after we divided out all the parts that we kept yep. and it sold for 21.50. Used parts like that are worth taking the time to clean up, bowl of dish soap and a couple of screws to pull out and you got 20 bucks sitting in a bag. And our final item was, actually I think it sold this morning. It is three packs of the 1988 football cards. So just the individual packs. All right, so they're these ones here. So the normal white boxes of cellophane packs. These are the packs that are in them. They're little 79 cent a piece packs. They and go for $8 and 50 cents and they bought three of them. So 25, yep. 50. So 25 bucks in that. So for three packs, they paid a quarter of the price a or no, a fifth of the price, a sixth of the price, a sixth of the price of what? Yeah. Cause there's how many, how many, well, they're certainly more expensive if you're buying them a pack at a time. Cause I got to break a box open, but now we got to replenish. Cause I think they're all gone. Well, the single the packs, single pack. we don't have an open box right now. So we'll pick a box that's in the worst shape and we'll open it. That's it. That's all I got. All right, that's it for today. And we're gonna go ahead and get all this stuff wrapped up and packaged because it's gonna be a late day. We had a lot of items to pull and we're gonna need to get to the post office yet. So we're gonna get to packing and we will see you guys next time. Hasta la vista.